On behalf of the University of the Witwatersrand, Johannesburg, also known as Vis University, I would like to welcome you to witness a revelation that will unlock secrets of our human heritage. The announcement today of two more almost complete skeletons ride another page in the largely unwritten record of our origins, offering a new perspective on the evolution of humankind. I'm very pleased to reconfirm that government has identified paleontology as a scientific area in which South Africa is uniquely placed to contribute to global knowledge. In addition to hominid evolution, South Africa has the oldest evidence of life on Earth, extending over three billion years, as well as the most complete record of mammal ancestry, extending over 80 million years. Visitors to South Africa, including the football fans that are expected and players, will be coming home. These extraordinary revelations speak to every single human being in the world who asks, where do we come from? As we know now, the short answer is, we all come from Africa. And I thank you, Kiale Boha. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have found are arguably the most complete early hominid skeletons ever discovered. Each individual is far more complete than the famous Lucy fossil from Ethiopia. The one on your left-hand side is a child skeleton. It is the holotype of a new species of early hominid. It is a child that in human terms would be around 11 to 13 years of age developmentally. He had a little bit of growing to do. On the right-hand side, is a female, an adult female, probably in her late 20s or early 30s. As you see, she carries some remarkable things that have never before been seen in the early hominid record. She has a complete upper limb. Those ladies and gentlemen are potentially a Rosetta Stone into the past. These 1.9 million year old hominids are in extraordinary condition. They lived at the same time. They died at the same time. And when I mean that, I don't mean that in the sense that we archaeologists often use it. They died within minutes, days, hours, or at the very most, weeks of each other. They would have known each other in life. They would have looked into each other's eyes, and they may very well have been related. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new species of human ancestor. There is a species that may, very well may be transitional between those earliest Australopithecines and the earliest member of the genus Homo. 